I'm Sharon Waxler, owner and head trainer of At Your Service Dog Training, and this is another in my series of tips uh, for quadriplegic dog trainers and handlers. Uh, so this tip is on how to train your dog to touch their nose to a target. I'm using as a target just a plastic um, yogurt lid or cottage cheese lid or something like that. Um, the nice thing about something like this is they're easy to get. Um, and inexpensive if you want to eventually fade out the target and make it by cutting it and making it really small That's easy to do and dogs aren't as likely to just want to chew on these as they are um, a piece of cardboard um, The useful thing about having your dog tra Trained to touch their nose to a target is then you can eventually direct them to a specific location because there's a target on it already um, you can teach them to follow behind your wheelchair by putting a target on the back of your wheelchair. Um, if you want them to learn to walk uh, next to your, with their nose next to your foot plate, you can put a target on your foot plate. Um, so there's just a lot of uses for a dog to learn to, to follow a target. This training example does assume that you have a helper, an assistant for this portion of the training. Um, and a, as I um, have the use of my hands and legs, I will be demoing both the assistant portion and the handler portion, um, and I will be using my my hands um, for that as the when I'm being the the assistant. Um, so let me show you how that looks. So I'm going to have some tasty treats, and um, my helper has the target. Um, I am going to have my dog um, leashed to me or to my chair, or um, you know, if my dog knows how to do a stay, my dog can be in a stay or a wait. But at any rate, I just wanna make sure that my dog can't get to the treat when I first put the target down. So I'm gonna take my target, I'm gonna put a delicious treat on it, just as if it was a little dinner plate, wait, my dog does have a weight, so I'm just gonna use that for him. And I'm gonna, my um, assistant would put the treat on the, the plate, um, the little um, plastic lid, put the lid on the floor right there. Just wanna make sure you can see it. There we go. And then I, as the handler, I'm going to get my dog's attention by saying my dog's name. When my dog looks toward me, I'm going to say, touch and drop the leash or have my assistant drop the leash. Um, so I'm gonna say, kiss me, touch. Um, and if my dog doesn't know what that means, my assistant might sort of encourage the dog to come over, kiss me and then he'll go over and eat the treat. So that's the beginning phase. So again, I'm just gonna have my dog on leash or waiting um, while my assistant puts a treat on the little dish. As soon as I get my dog's attention, I'm gonna say, touch. And he's used to touching my hand when he hears that. Um, so I might look at the dish and then, yes, good boy, and then I'm going to praise him for eating the treat on the dish. So that's the training process. You're just going to do this over and over again. Eventually, your dog is going to learn that when they hear touch, that that means they should go get the treat on the plate. Kids make touch. I'm looking at the treat on the tray. I'm hoping he's going to follow my eyes. Okay, get the treat. Good boy. So eventually, your dog will learn that touch means you are now able to go get the treat on the tray. Touch. So that's the training process for this. As I said, this step does require an assistant, but later on down the line, you'll have targets around your house. You'll be able to direct your, target, your dog to go touch them um, without um, a human helper. Um, but there are some steps between that and this. I hope this is helpful. Happy training.